Welcome back to Low Key Lawn Care and what's going to be a two-part video about lawnmower blades. In this first part, I'm going to talk about how you know when you should replace your mower blades, how often you should do it, and what you should replace the blades with. There's a couple of things to make note of. Each mower is a little bit different. A lot of push mowers, self-propelled mowers, uh, have some similarities. When you get into the decks with multiple blades, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. And we'll take a look under the deck of the mower, take a look at a couple of things to watch out for, and talk about the process of going to the store and buying the blade as well, uh, because you want to make sure you're getting the right thing. So first off, when should you replace a blade or how often should you replace a blade? Now everyone's going to have a different opinion on this. Your grandfather's going to have a different opinion than me and I may have a different opinion than the landscaper down the road. Now before we get into my opinion on the matter, I just want to talk about why we even sharpen or replace blades in the first place. So I'm going to use my glove here as an example and let's say that this is your blade of grass, right? And your mower blade comes through, uh, a sharp blade does a clean cut on that grass. It's going to make your lawn look better and it's going to be healthier for the grass. Now let's take over time your blade gets dull and let's flip. This is now the blade of grass, right? Your mower comes through, it kind of bends the grass and instead of cutting it, it kind of tears it off. So now you've got grass with a tear in it rather than a clean cut. Grass that's torn is more susceptible to disease. Your lawn's not going to be as healthy or as clean looking when you're just tearing the grass rather than cutting it. So that's the main reason that we do this. Another obvious reason to replace the blade is that over time, your blade's going to get stresses, fractures, it's going to get thinner, and at a certain point becomes dangerous, right? So you want to inspect the blade and make sure that it's um, safe to operate, and if it's not, replace it, don't even bother sharpening it. So that's a good segue into my opinion on when do you replace the blade. So my opinion on the matter is that you need to be inspecting your blade. I do this when I clean the deck out. I'll flip the mower up, clean the deck out, just take a look at the blade. So outside of replacing the blade for a safety reason, maybe it's just too thin or it has some fractures or stresses in it, replace it right away. Other than that, I would say look to replace your blade in the spring after you've done the first couple of mows. Um, as you go throughout the year, having that new blade on there is going to give you a nice cut on your lawn. And as you get into fall with the leaves and sticks that have fallen, um, you're going to be hitting more, it's going to be dulling the blade more. So in the fall is not really the best time to replace your blade um, if it's for non-safety reasons. So in terms of sharpening versus replacing, again, take a look at the blade. If the edge looks like by sharpening it, you can get a nice clean cut on there. Go ahead and do that. Um, but replace a blade if it's got too many big dents in it or whatever. So I'm going to tip the mower up. Let's take a look at the underside of the deck here. I've got the Toro Recycler 22, which makes it really easy to flip this up and do the check. So we're just going to lift this up here. All right, so what we're going to want to look for here on the blade is on the cutting edge of the blade, which is on, in my case, on the Toro Recycler, the blade has uh, teeth on the back side and it actually curves up and in towards the deck. And so what we want to do is look at this cutting edge here, inspect both sides. So you've got some abrasions here, some dents uh, towards the top edge there. And if I bring this blade around to the other side, you've got a big dent here and some dents here. So this blade is in need of either a really good sharpening uh, but in my case, I'm going to replace it because I really have to grind this edge down and I don't want to affect the integrity of the blade itself. So we're just going to go ahead and replace this blade. So that's what you want to look for. Just inspect this uh, every now and again when you're cleaning out your mower. Inspect the blade, make sure it's good. So that's my opinion on how often you should replace a blade. It should be heavily driven by your inspection of the blade. But in general, if you want to play it on the safe side and you've got an average size lawn, um, go ahead and replace it once a year and that'll ensure that you've got a fresh blade, a safe blade, and sharpen it in between uh, to make sure that you're cutting the grass rather than tearing it. So that being said, when you go to the hardware store to pick up a new blade, you're going to see a couple of options. One, you're probably going to see, depending on where you go, if it's Home Depot, you're going to see uh, probably their Toro line of blades. Uh, go to Lowe's, you may see Husqvarna. Um, they may have some other brands, Arians and stuff in there too. But what you're going to see is usually you're going to see the name brand blade, which is going to look a lot like this one here in the case of Toro. Name brand blade. 
and then you're gonna see an off-brand blade, right? The off-brand blade's gonna be a little less expensive and may have some different uh, features on the blade. So in my case with the Toro Recycler, the Toro brand blade has teeth. The off-brand blade, uh, it has more of a, a smooth ridge to it rather than the teeth. I prefer the teeth. Uh, maybe they work the same, but I feel like the teeth are gonna cut and mulch better. So I buy the branded blade for the Toros. Again, depending on your make of mower, um, what you wanna watch out for is you wanna look for the specific size blade that your mower takes. In my case, my mower is a 22 inch, so I'm gonna get a 22 inch blade and make sure that it fits my mower, right? So here, uh, the blade here on the packaging says that it fits the 22 inch recycler. In that case, I know this blade's gonna fit my mower. If you look at the off brands, the, the fit section is gonna have a lot more mowers in there, but make sure the biggest thing is gonna be your size, in my case, 22 inches, um, but yours may be a 21, it may be something different. So make sure you're buying the right size blade for your mower. So that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video here. I hope this was helpful for you in terms of knowing when to replace your blade as well as what to look for when you go to buy that new blade. Uh, if you've got questions, throw them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you have an opinion that differs from me, throw that down there. It's helpful to get some community aspect here to talk about how you approach replacing your blade, sharpening your blade, and what you feel is the best time and the best way to do that. So I appreciate the feedback, and I will talk to you guys soon. Yeah.